So this is one of the things I don't like. Mm, I said yes, so I don't like this because uh, when you know people are trying to just move on things and commenters are just you know doing those ziggy zagas, they'll call it in my place. It just it tire me sometimes. Eh, it's like there's something wrong. Like what is wrong with you people? Anyway, it's the Sotoye's video that is bringing both buzz at this point. So Sotoye made a video, and you guys are going to listen to everything Sotoye had to say because I brought the tea for you guys, yes. But before we get into what Sotoye had to say, the video that Sotoye made is bringing Bosbas to Prudence. <laughs> I'm tired of this street, I beg, I beg. Anyway, so Sotoye made that video, you guys are going to listen to our cable. She came and said some things, and because of what she said, somebody came to drop a comment. Let's put that comment here and read it together. So the comment reads, I hope Prudence uh, listens to the first few minutes of your intro. Never seen someone's family integrity destroyed on white as much as as I feel for her and so sad to see. I don't understand. You said Prudence family integrity destroyed, integrity destroyed how? <laughs> Have you heard about the Calabar clan on these streets? Albu's parents, mothers were called witches and more. I beg. Anyway, Sotoye replied the person saying, and Sotoye replied saying, thank you for watching, but Prudence is my friend and this wasn't directed at her. I am speaking generally as it affects all creators. Hmm. Then the person replied, at Sotoye special, well, as a friend, do well to advise her accordingly. She needs to know. Hey, well, I be like bicycle. Now, I'm sure you guys want to know what Prudence said. I mean, I said Prudence, so Tanya said at the beginning of this rigmarole and rock as well. Let's go listen to so Tanya Mommy, and I will be back. Our subscribers, okay, our subscribers are not our friends. Your subscribers are not your friends, they're not your family. Yes, you are trying to form a community, yes, you are trying to build, you know, a system around you and all of that. But the truth is that they are not your friends, we are not your friends, okay? So be careful what you share on here, be careful the kind of content you put out. Filter it, please okay? filter your content, filter what you post. I know that a lot of us are tempted to be very raw, vulnerable. You feel like, okay, when you share your health helping others i agree with that okay i understand that but be very discerning about the kind of content even in your vulnerability even in your bid to share be very discerning that whatever you put out will not come back and bite you in the bum bum okay i don't want to say the ass word will not come and bite you and they cannot use it against you a lot of the content that we put up there put out there can be used against us even if it's not by other youtubers or subscribers can be used in your workplace your future employment anything you're going for i remember there was a video i did with my husband where we did that card game talking about some things you know some intimate things and other stuff and to me i was just putting it out there as but this is what married couples do this an example of you know a happy and healthy marriage Unknown, unbeknownst to me my video had gone to places that i would not have expected it to go to and some people even came back and said oh i watched that your video i watched that video where you said this where you said that and i was dumbfounded because the people that watched it were in my professional capacity, as in they worked with me professionally. So imagine such videos going out there that you don't really want it to go out there. So please, let us be guided, okay? Let's be guided to avoid all these things, okay? These people are not your friends. Some people watch you to just hate on you. Some people watch you to wait for you to sleep up. The world will turn against you in a heartbeat. Look at Ronke Raji. Look at all these other YouTubers that were doing so well. All of that. Immediately they make a mistake. Next thing, videos are coming up left, right, and center. People are commenting here people are doing thing pieces blogs everything just about your content please something here i want to say something that um it's not just about when you make a mistake okay even if you don't make a mistake and you're putting content out here people are going to talk about it so i wanted to just correct that part but let's keep listening please please let's be guided okay let's be careful like i, I will just start seeing so many different types of videos going up and down people digging things from the past people saying things people like even people like it has happened to me okay i remember a video i did maybe two years ago where i talked about i can't remember the topic oh, but i was like advising upcoming youtubers like myself like okay um opportunity means preparation basically like okay if you are prepared get your content right whatever so that when you do all these videos with when you finally meet those who will help you you can collab with and all of that that your content is actually good enough people dragged me from here to Bayasa state okay they did all sorts of things Santi mommy Santi mommy please don't say drag because i don't think they really dragged you on this street though <laughs> 
do you know the meaning of drag? So tell you, please don't say people dragged you, please. You can say people reacted to what you said, but don't say drag. Because do you know what drag? Please go ask. Ask me that they've been dragged. They've been dragged on this tree. What dragging is? I beg, I beg. That wasn't dragging. I don't think you've been dragged, Sha. But let's keep listening to her. All sorts of things. And people that I thought were my guys, okay, subscribers that I chat with, like outside of even YouTube, people that I just with, people that I had opened up to were in other people's comment sections saying things about me. So I'm not, you know, this is in the past, but it taught me a lesson. Be careful what you share. And nobody's your friend. Yes, we build a community. Yes, there are loving people here. I'm not denying that yes there are people who will fight for you and support you I have amazing subscribers but even in the midst of that there are people who are waiting for you to sleep there are people who are jealous of your life that your husband content that your cooking content that your get ready with me content they are jealous they are angry okay they are just waiting for you to sleep they are your enemies that are watching you okay let us just be honest anyway <laughs> hey creator so you will be going to comment section looking at subscribers that's you know, your friends with that have commented. Anyway, that's Trisha. If somebody is your friend or they've confided in you, then when you're seeing people saying bad things about them, I don't think you're, you're supposed to be part of those that will be in the comment section dragging them. But that's just the world we live in, you understand? But let's keep listening to Sotio because she's not done talking. Mental health and mental health struggles and mental health this and that, okay? Just from sharing my reality. So when I even tell you, oh, be careful what you share, was I really careful? Not so much. I was sharing and a lot of positive has come out of it. But I know there's still negative aspects here and there. Yes, I like me a woman who is truthful and straightforward and realizes that, yes, I have also overshared on this street, but I'm not trying to badmouth others from oversharing because, yes, Soti has been vulnerable to a certain extent, maybe not like others on the street of YouTube. And I don't think there's anything wrong with being vulnerable, but I understand why some of these creators might find it hard to, you know, become so open or come share very, you know, integral private details with us you know i understand because they feel like oh people can take on it and talk about it but i mean i mean it's life okay once you put out an information you should know that this information that i am putting out i don't mind if anybody talk on it i'm ready to face whatever comes with it that is why you are opening your mouth to put it out we're not talking about that we're focusing on the positive okay so as women as mothers as youtubers as content creators first things first whenever you share your story know that it doesn't end there okay it's just the beginning okay it's just the opening it's just the opening act there's so much to come so much more to come but in the midst of that be careful but just know that it doesn't end at youtube a lot of people create some kind of funny funny content say some things they do some things and that's all there is okay it stops that subscribers it stops that youtube money and it doesn't pass from there it doesn't leave there that's it okay but then you see opportunities like i've gotten deals i've gotten things that i don't even talk about i don't talk about a lot of them okay but i've gotten so many opportunities from youtube i remember talking telling you guys a few years ago that i was interviewed by bbc uk from youtube till today i do not know the person that recommended me so yeah i wanted to share that as much as we are talking about the negative and we are seeing some of the videos we are seeing comments even on instagram we are seeing people dragging and trolling and all sorts of things know that it's not just youtube okay a lot of the biggest youtubers in the world today their youtube channel was only the stepping stone okay to greater things jacqueline hill has gone on to do her makeup line jackie i know is doing uh, still doing content creation but she has several brand deals she has her own candle line um vanessa lao became like a motivational speaker ted talk speaker blah 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 like people were she was having millions of dollars from youtube okay so please content creators while i'm advising be careful just know that it is not just youtube your content is you you are the content so when you are packaging it package it with the goal or the fact that or the thing in your mind that it's not just here this is just the beginning of your dream this is just the beginning. Yeah, Sati has spilled fact. I agree. But also, I want to say there are people who are bloggers and they've made it big also. There are people like Tasha K on the street of YouTube. And what is their job? To come and talk about what is trending in America and co. And she's fucking doing well. She, she even has other things that she's doing out of YouTube. All I'm going to say is that, yes, I agree to a great extent with what Sati has said. But in as much, yes, we know... Oh, if you talk, you're just trying to make the money. I just enter YouTube. But what is that big vision that you have for yourself as a content creator? 
right? I, and some of the reason why they talk down on people who, you know, talk about others is the way some of us go about it. That's why they talk down on you because you, it feels like, oh, some of us will talk about what is trending or what we see as if we don't have vision. But there are people like Summer Aku and other people who are talking about what is trending and what is going on with people, okay? And they are still thriving and they have a life outside YouTube. So whatever you are doing, okay, keep winning and let's do everything in moderation in all, okay, at the end of the day. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. But if the ghost blast is very hot, somebody comes to give you, I'm not saying you should moderate and give, oh, please, by all means, give back. Bye.